It is Wednesday, October 6th, and I'm going through the process of installing the Cyanogen Mod 6 onto my Nexus One phone, which is right here. And uh, the page that I have pulled up on my LCD screen is simply the wiki page that details the exact steps on how to go about installing the Cyanogen Mod onto the Nexus One phone. And I am at the point where um, I am about to unlock the bootloader and thus um, uh, pretty much wiping my, my phone. So at this point, uh, uh, it will also void the warranty on my Nexus One phone, which is fine. And at the same time, um, uh, delete everything that's on the, the phone's uh, memory and hard drive, so or flash memory. So at this point, uh, I've got the phone booted up uh, on the bootloader screen, got the uh, cable plugged in, plugged into my laptop there, and just a click away from my phone from wiping the phone and unlocking the bootloader and uh, one step closer to getting the Cyanogen Mod 6 installed. I have pretty much all set. We'll hit the power button to confirm. There we go. And uh, it reflects it here on the command prompt on the laptop. And here starts the boot up of the Nexus One phone. And of course, as I, as I mentioned, unfortunately, um, I'm instead using my G1's video recording capability as opposed to my normal Canon digital camera. Um, I just happened to misplace the uh, re battery recharger for my Canon digital camera, so the battery's dead right now. I can't use that to record this video, which is the usual device I use to record my videos here for YouTube. So, uh, but there it goes. It's everything uh, loading back up here. This is just a normal boot up graphic animation for this phone. And there we go. And it just says, welcome to Nexus One showing that the USB is still indeed connected to the laptop. I'll go ahead and just stop the video at this point. Well, I've gone through all the steps required to install the Cyanogen mod onto my phone. And uh, of course that includes the uh, unlocking of the bootloader. And what I did was, was next install the custom recovery image uh, using Amon Ra's recovery uh, method there. And uh, we also went through and flashed the radio for Amon Ra's recovery process, then actually flashed into the phone the Cyanogen Mod uh, data, and uh, that was pretty much it. It was a fairly painful, straightforward process. And just to demonstrate here, I'm going to go ahead and power up the the phone. There we go. As you can see, accompanying the Nexus One logo, we get the icon, the unlocked pad. Uh, icon showing that the phone is now unlocked and uh, modded. Well, um, there's the Cyanogen mod and boot up animation. And I apologize again, uh, just using the video recording capabilities of my older G1 phone, and the video quality isn't that clear, but it's better than nothing. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and get myself in there, and there we go. Um, what I liked, among many of the tweaks that are available now with the Cyanogen mod installed, one is being able to control how quickly the screen swipes over. Um, and uh, let me just make the screen brightness brighter here so that we can one of the other apps I have installed, but uh, there we go. And I just like how you can control the speed of the swiping. It also includes the the button, the dot indicators at the very top of the screen that denotes what screen you're at. And same thing at the bottom is added down there. Um, a few other notable additions that I've noticed were that um, we also get the percentage, and you know it's going to be difficult to. See see here, maybe if I put the brightness down, uh, just put it down to zero here, you, 
you can kind of make out, eh, yeah, this sucks though, but the, uh, the, the battery status, status indicator at the very top, uh, there's a number that denotes the percentage of the battery um, power, and there's an actual number next to the wireless status icon uh, that denotes the, uh, the decibel, decibel ratings for the signal. So those are two additional bits of information that's available now that the Cyanogen mod is installed. Um, I also like how the home screen can also adjust to a landscape setting when you rotate it 90 degrees, where um, from my experience it wasn't able to do that before. And obviously if you notice, there's actually five rows and five columns of icons that you can add now. And actually it's an easy adjustment where you can add um, more rows and more columns um, in addition uh, on top of the just the default four rows and four columns that you're allowed to. So that's what I liked about it. And um, that's about it. Everything looks good. I also like how, um, and you can't really see it with this video, but the icon uh, status indicator that shows the connection speed, normally it says 3G, but it also gives you a further detailed indicator when you're actively downloading or connecting doing uploads or downloads on the uh, on your connection, you have, it actually changes to a letter H denoting the HSDPA uh, connection status, which stands for the high speed, um, uh, what is it, data, uh, or um, a data link packet access. So um, there we go, everything looks good. So a uh, CyanogenMod mod successfully installed on my Nexus One phone. So just to formally summarize my um, my log video for today, uh, for any Android phone that you happen to have, uh, I just happen to have the Nexus One. Um, in order to go through and obtain the Cyanogen mod like how I did myself, it's simply going through the uh, cyanogenmod.com and through there there's a link to get to the wiki page. And uh, you can simply manually go into wiki.cyanogenmod.com and then from the main page you hit, the, for me I hit Nexus 1 and then it just lays out depending on which phone model that you have. For me it's Nexus 1, it just lays down step by step concrete detailed um, steps on, on what you got to do. And again back to the phone, the most notable um, customizations that are available, the two main screens you see most immediately that you can start tweaking and, and playing around gives you more customizations with this mod as you can see. Amongst the usual ones you now have a Cyanogen mod settings main option menu in addition to a ADW launcher. Um, font's kind of blurry but uh, for example and it gives you a whole slew of sub menus and sub options that go in and start playing with it. This screen goes into an application settings, input settings, performance settings, sound settings, user interface, a whole bunch of other things that you can play with and sort of get lost into. Uh, the AWL, AW, the ADWL launcher, I'm sorry, the ADW launcher settings uh, gives you a whole bunch of uh, user interface related specific uh, uh, tweaks that you can also do. Um, and so. All these customizations are available once you install the Cyanogen mod that um, seeks to improve the stock uh, Android uh, OS. And there you have it.